Hi everyone and welcome to this video. This is a tutorial on how you can power and vary the brightness of a simple LED using a microcontroller. And this is going to be a short video and it should be direct, to the point, concise and hopefully very helpful. So yeah, what are we going to do? We're going to power the LED and we're going to vary its brightness using a potentiometer, which is one of these. But it's going to go to the microcontroller, and obviously that brings benefits of using a microcontroller because you can uh, interact with it in different ways, you can do lots of calculations and whatever else. Anyway, so what are we going to do? Well, to start with, we're going to have to verify that you've got the right components. So of course we need a nano or an alternative. We need a breadboard. We definitely need an LED. Now some LEDs are different, and they're not all exactly the same as this, they're not all the same voltage, and they don't draw the same amount of current. Um, but generally speaking, if you've got an LED, the voltage will be somewhere near the same as mine, and the amount of current draw will also be somewhere near the same as mine. So, uh, so don't worry if you've not got the exact same one. You can actually look at spec sheets, but it's not overly important for this little experiment or tutorial. So yeah, you need an LED. Um, a few of these little jumper wires, you'll need some of these. You'll also need a simple transistor, and it, again, they've um, they've got you know specs, different specs like uh, for different power ratings and stuff. But again, it doesn't matter too much. Just any transistor should do because we're only going to be dealing with about 20 milliamps, so it doesn't matter too much. But it does need to be an NPN transistor. Um, yep, so we need one of those. We also need a potentiometer, and again, uh, this doesn't also matter too much either. Uh, pretty much any potentiometer will do, um, but hopefully it'll be around about 5k or something like that, 5 to 10k, probably 5k. Um, so you'll need one of those as well. And we need a resistor. Now, the resistor comes as a pair, uh, well, not technically comes as a pair, but these two work together. And basically, the resistor um, stops the LED from drawing too much current. It's a current limiting resistor. And I can recommend 100 ohms, okay? Now this one is a 100 ohm uh, resistor. To get it perfect, uh, to get this uh, LED perfect, I'll actually use an 80 ohm. But if you say 100 ohm, that's probably going to work with many, many different LEDs. And this, therefore this tutorial should work for you. Okay, so 100 ohm resistor. Right then, let's get started. Let me zoom in to start with. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is put the... Um, microcontroller in there. Then the next thing that I will do is put the potentiometer in here. So we've got the potentiometer in there. And I think I'll wire that up first. So let's go um, ground first. So ground to ground. Now this middle one is going to be a signal wire and this will need to go to A0. So it's going to A0. Then we need a voltage wire on the potentiometer to feed it, if you like, and that's going to be going to 5 volts. Okay? So to start with, we've got ground on the end, then we've got the signal going to A0, and then we've got 5 volts into the potentiometer. That's the first stage done. The next thing is I'll put the transistor in place. So I'll put the transistor here, I think. Uh, no, actually, let's go there. The transistor can go there. So I'll move it forward one. Transistor can go there. Now, um, you'll need to look at the spec for your transistor to find out the pinout. Now, on this one, I'm familiar with it, and it's um, emitter, collector, base. Emitter, collector, base. So, therefore, um, I want to wire it in this way. Hang on a minute. Where are my uh, jumper wires? There we go. I've got a few more here. So, we want to go... Right, emitter is going to go to the anode of the LED, so I'll go back to that in a minute. The collector is going to go to 5 volts, so the middle pin on mine goes to 5 volts. So that's the collector. And the base, now the base, we want to... Actually, you could use a resistor with the, with the base as well to make sure it doesn't draw too much from the Arduino. However, this is a very simple tutorial, I just want to do it fast and, um, and keep it simple for you. Now this needs to go to D3. So the base is going to D3, okay? Now, going to the LED, the longer one, the longer lead, is always the anode, uh, which is the plus. So the plus is going to go from the collector, uh, sorry, no, not the collector, the emitter, which is the first one in my case, to, um, to 
uh, this ground rail and from the ground rail it's going to go to ground so I'll go from there to there hopefully so what's going on here is that um, when the microcontroller says yes to the transistor to turn on via the base pin the uh, power goes from the collector here and it goes through to the emitter from the emitter it powers the LED then it goes through the resistor and then it goes to ground and that's as far as uh, we are up to now and uh, that's all you need to know at the moment so let's just have a quick look at it again so we've got the microcontroller we've got the potentiometer we've got the transistor we've got the LED and we've got the resistor so now it's time to go over to the code right what do we want to do to start with we want to define some pins so define what do you want to devi define um, a transistor base pin transistor base pin and that's going to be pin 3 which is a PWM pin then we want to define another one define um, the potentiometer pin so potentiometer pin and that's going to be A0 which is analog 0 because of course we're reading an analog um, value then set up what do you want to do here we want to set the pin mode so set the pin mode of the transistor base pin and that's going to be an output pin of course because if it was an input pin that wouldn't help us uh, actually power the transistor at all then we want to do that again we want to say pin mode and the potentiometer pin if I even spell that correctly put and e ometer yeah potentiometer pin that's going to be an input 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 um, because of course the potentiometer is going to be any value between 0 to 5 and we want to read that in and convert it into a number and then we're going to use PWM and uh, do an um, analog write to the value that corresponds to the number that's coming into the Arduino if that makes sense we're we going to need serial uh, we'll go for it anyway so serial.begin 115200 which is what I usually use then in the loop um, in the loop well to start with we're going to need an int so int uh, transistor um, what we're going to say here um, right PWM value probably yeah let's do that so uh, PWM value so the transistor PWM value um, should we map it no we'll see what we'll do we'll do an analog write uh, read sorry analog read we'll analog read the potentiometer pin so at the moment what's going to happen is that if the potentiometer pin um, or the signal from it what we'll call the signal if it reads 5 volts then the value we'll get back from this analog read is 1023 um, but PWM works on a value from 0 to 255 0 to 255 so we're going to need to map it so what we'll do here we'll uh, assign it a value again so we'll say map and uh, what do we want to read from we want to read from the value that it is currently and we want to convert it from um, we want to convert it from that to um, let's say 0 255 okay so we're getting a value from so read that we're getting a value from 0 to 1023 and we want it to be mapped out to a value between 0 and 255 ready for PWM um, so so far so good now we want to do analog right analog write and what do we want to write to? We want to, we want to write to the base pin using PWM and we want to write this value which will now be between 0 and 255 and I suppose we'll have a delay um, I don't know if, probably won't need a delay actually but if I just put one in it might help a little bit right so what we're going to get now is we're going to be able to um, to mess with the potentiometer and vary the brightness um, at least that's that's why why I expect to happen um, 
So there might be a problem at the bottom end of the scale because sometimes the potentiometers are not actually linear. Um, so uh, it's probably easier to show you actually um, rather than talk about it. But yeah, sometimes potentiometers are not linear. Uh, so a large proportion of the uh, turn of the potentiometer could be at the very low end uh, of voltage scale. Whereas, um, well, you get the picture. So um, I'm going to upload this now and hopefully it'll work. Alright, so here's the final uh, result and that's the LED, the transistor, the potentiometer, the Arduino and the resistor. Now, uh, where's my screwdriver? Here it is. So now if I fiddle with this you can see that varying the brightness. In fact, I'm going to turn these lights off. So let's play about with this now. So let's turn it on. Oh, you can barely see it, but there you go. You turn it on, then higher and higher and higher and higher. Yeah. So you can see what I mean. It works perfectly. So um, hopefully this video was useful. I do hope you liked it. And uh, yeah, that's how to um, use PWM or analog out, analog right, to control the brightness of an LED. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye!